Another delay in the case against the return to nature funeral homeowners. John and Carrie Halford are both charged with more than 200 counts after investigators say 190 bodies were found decomposing in their funeral home in Penrose. They were expected to give their pleas in court this morning. News 5's Maggie Bryan explains where the case stands now. It's going to be another month until John and Carrie Halford formally enter their pleas to more than 200 counts. But today the judge said something that perks the ears of a lot of family members who were in the courtroom. Carrie Halford's attorneys could be planning to pin these charges against her husband. For the past six months, another delay. Yeah, Samantha Naranjo has been marking her calendar. I'm going to show up every time, making sure she doesn't miss a single hearing. We had to go through something so drastic that it should for John and Carrie Halford. It should make a statement to them, you know. The couple is facing more than 200 criminal charges for what investigators say was found inside their funeral home in Penrose last October. 190 bodies left to rot without proper refrigeration. It can't happen again. It shouldn't happen again to anybody else. Naranjo's grandmother was one of the bodies identified inside the funeral home. She and other family members were expecting to hear the Halfords pleas to the charges in court today. Carrie Halford pleaded not guilty, but minutes later withdrew the plea after John's attorneys requested to push the hearing back until July. It's another delay that's causing frustration for people like Christina Page, who did business with the funeral home after her son died. You know, none of us get to delay how we feel unless. I feel like sometimes, especially high profile cases, they tend to try to prolong it so they can get people to forget about it. There can be less activity around the situation and I refuse. The delay is partly because a new judge is taking over the case. The current judge says he's switching court divisions. This case may also turn in an unexpected direction. I'm going to find that uh, Ms. Halford's defense is potentially antagonistic to uh, Mr. Halford's. The judge ruled the Halford's will have two separate trials after he says Carrie's defense may be against her own husband's. I've said it since day one. I've always felt it. Naranjo says this wasn't a surprise to her. She was part of this, but she didn't. Um, I don't think she was the reason it started. They've caused so much chaos for us. It's nice to see that there might be some chaos going on between them. Carrie Halford is out on bond while John Halford remains in custody, both awaiting their federal wire fraud trial. The two will be back here at the El Paso County Courthouse on July 11th when they're expected to enter their pleas. In Colorado Springs, I'm Maggie Bryan, News 5. Maggie, thank you.